Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 23 of my Dire Wolf 20. We've got 18 Let's Play. Um, I have done some off camera work. Uh, you can't really see it from here. <laughs> um, I haven't really done much, but I have. Like, I put in a couple of docks here. I moved uh, this little farm. I made a bigger farm over on the other side of the cow pen. Um, go check it out, I guess. It's not really anything special. It's not even full yet. I just, you know, got that thing built up. Uh, oh, yeah, look at it. It's growing. <laughs> you know, that stuff. Um, I did not plant the, uh, the sushi go crafting plants because I'm, I'm kind of stuck with those. I can't, I can't use it, um, to make food because I, I don't have any food and I don't have any seaweed, so I can't really continue with that and I, I, uh, looked at, you know, trying to find these things, but, uh, yeah, I haven't had any luck. What is this? Flax. And we got, oh, so I put in, like, all the, the thermal series stuff. We got some strawberries. Saw that they uh, added the, some recipes for this food, so <laughs> yeah, hopefully we'll get. Oh man, look at all those seeds! I'm like so full. Um, uh, don't have any food for this stuff. Oh, look at all the stuff things. Anyway, I'll I'll harvest that and get it filled in. Um, but that's our little farm. It's not all done yet, but it's going. Uh, I've been feeding the cows and harvesting them too. I got like thirty three steaks. Woo! I still don't have enough leather to do an enchanting setup, uh, so I'm kind of. Trying to keep that up. I did redo some of the Ars Magica stuff. I felt like it was really crowded over here, so I kind of moved it out a little bit further. I figured we got this huge, huge island. Uh, why not use it? Uh, but there was, because there was a problem. In order to make the spell book work, you have to make a spell. <laughs> uh, go figure. Uh, let's get some of this stuff. Some seeds. Yeah. Stuff and thing in there. Yeah, that looks good. So, I was having to in order to make the spell book work, you need parchment. And if we look at parchment, it's, well, you have to have a spell parchment. And you, it takes four source gems and a blank parchment to make a spell parchment. And a blank parchment takes paper, which we have tons of now, and mage blue fibers. Well, we don't have these mage bloom fibers, uh, but you can get it from mage bloom. Um, but the only way to get a mage bloom seed is uh, you can see it's grown from seeds crafted using the enchanting apparatus. So if we find where is where is the seed? Um, there it is. That's this little guy. Um, you can craft it at the enchanting apparatus, 
using uh, four source gems and a seed. Uh, so that's what I've kind of been doing. I made one and then I was like, you know, this is going to take forever. So I started trying to make some more and then I was faced with another dilemma of how long it was taking. So I was trying to automate this, but uh, yeah, there was a slight problem when I put the hopper underneath, it just sucked out all of the lapis. So <laughs> um, I would have to do something a little bit more elaborate and stick a hopper underneath. Um, I was looking at pipes, but there's only like one, well, two sets of pipes. We have mechanism pipes and then just the normal uh, pipes, 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 uh, the item pipe, pipes, and then we have the mechanism pipes, the uh, advanced mechanical pipes, I know. Are these the liquid ones, or did they combine them all in one? Because I only see one set of pipes for mechanism. Oh, that would be cool if they did combine them all into one. Oh, shit, for details. Oh, it's, oh, it's only for fluids. Um, uh, maybe it's called something else. Let's look at Maybe it's not called a pipe. <laughs> Aha. Cable. So that's for power. Mechanical is for fluids and ah uh, here's the logistical transporter yeah steel and osmium and redstone oh i remember this um uh but with <laughs> i i do remember in ocean block that the other pipes the the pipes pipes um the filters were very, I don't know, I felt overpriced for what they did. Um, like, it was crazy expensive to get the filter no way. Oh. And that was an ocean block with, like, unlimited resources. <laughs> so, uh, that was, it, it was crazy, but, um. I might have to try something like that in order to automate it because it's just pulling out all the stuff. Oh, look at this. This looks so yummy. Um, let's see. Right. I don't have it like lit up very well around here at all. <laughs> And so I need to make sure I sleep. Uh, yeah, Dire Wolf is, uh, you know, brave and he goes out hunting at night. But yeah. Oh, and I did have to make some new stuff in order to make these seeds. And it was this uh, enchanting apparatus and the core underneath it. Um, They weren't too difficult. Uh, it did take a little bit of gold. Here's the arcane core. It took two gold and some of this arcane stone, which uh, you just make with a source gem and a bunch of stone around it. Uh, so that wasn't a, a big deal or anything. But the arcane core, where's the... Uh, where's the doodad? Arcane pest Here we go. The enchanting apparatus. It did take a diamond and some iron, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't horrible. And then the pedestals, which are just the stone. So, 
Uh, but you s sort of put the, the stuff on the pedestals, like in the recipe, and you have to wait until the last put in the center one because it looks for the recipe first. But this looks really cool. Check it out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> It is so nice. Look at that. And then, boop. Got the little seed in there. Go plant this guy. I wanted to... This little guy has can fill up a source jar five blocks away. So I was like, well, why not just make a whole farm next to it so it can get lots of yummy source from it. <laughs> oh, and I almost have enough for one more seed. I would like a lot more of this because I uh, really have to... This mod is so different from Ars Magica that it's, it's like... The Ars Magica that I remember there are similarities, like there's a spell book and you have spells, uh, but the mechanics are different. Uh, there wasn't Mage Bloom, uh, <laughs> there wasn't uh, the enchanting apparatus, things were called different stuff, and uh, it's a lot more complicated. Uh, there were like three different types of of source, I guess. Uh, one was good, one was neutral, and one was evil, and now had like some type of side effect or whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I was gonna try and give out uh, automating this with the comparator, but I don't really know. Because uh, it you can't really tell what is in there. I just I don't necessarily need to know how much. I just need to know what is in there. I don't really know how to do that with just my you know vanilla Minecraft stuff. Yay! Look, we just shot some source into there. I kind of been terraforming around here. There were lots of like holes in here. Uh, <laughs> there is another cave underneath here. Uh, there was just like a tiny hole with a drop of about 30 uh, into a huge cave. There's also another little side cave over here. Check it out. <laughs> uh, it's not really much to it, but I kind of covered it in. Covered it over with some dirt so that I wouldn't keep falling down inside. Um, yeah, there, so it was like this area here, when I cleared up the trees, there was a whole nother cave. <laughs> oh no! What is going on? I just slept. It's not time yet. I don't want a storm. Okay, we got done with the seeds. I would like to make more, but it takes um, it takes lapis. Like I don't have the budding amethyst, and I used to have like over a stack of lapis, and that's just been dwindling. Um, also, yeah, I made this little woodshed over here. It's not nothing fancy or anything, but these guys away. I'm gonna clear up a little more here. 
Also, I have that extra buffer now, so okay. Um, I guess I can put this here. I was trying to uh, make because these little sconces will hold a light, but it's the magical light from Arts Magic or Arts Nouveau. Um, and you have to have a spell for that. So I wanted to get the spell going. Uh, so that's what I was working on. It's just taken a lot longer. We might have enough to make a parchment, actually. Let's go check it out. You only need like eight. Eight fibers. And each flower gives you four. So I only need two to get this going. And I should have... I got three. Nice. Um, and I do have a source gem. Get my book out and stuff. I don't think I need any more of this. Um, we do need some paper. I need a Okay. Oh, look. There's the parchment. Oh, there. Wait, wait for more. Oh, you can get the different recipes. Nice. Now we got a blank parchment. Now we oh, I needed like four, four source chips. So I need three more. These guys. And this will take a while. I need to just put the paper here because I might need it. Some of those chests are, I'm just getting full in there, and I, I, I have some plans <laughs> for, for how to do everything. I'm just going to put those in there. That way I can just uh, combine the practice stuff. I, I do have plans. I want to work on this building some more. Uh, oh, look at that. Yes, page room. <laughs> I love me a new prop. So, yeah, I'm happy with this. But it it doesn't appear like they drop seeds when you harvest them. So I think the only way to get more is to make more seeds like this. I haven't I've only harvested like four of them, but... Uh, out of that, I have gotten zero seeds. Uh, yeah, two now and two more. Make our little parchment. Um, I need to just get some type of uh, project board somewhere. Maybe I could use this area. Oh, you know what be cool? Well, I don't know. I was going to say it would be cool to use kind of the Arts Magicka stuff, but this, this should be alright. Uh-oh. I guess uh, four tall, that should be good. I don't want to break that with my axe. Um, and then It's not anything fancy. I can maybe spruce it up a little, but uh, it'll get the job done. I could use some. Signs to 
mark projects. Oh, there they are. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and let's put them up there. Oh, you can barely see that. Maybe it'll be okay. First off, I do want to do a lot of the magic and figure it out because it looks really cool. But I do still want to automate some things that I think would be easier in to do tech wise, like make a quarry. Yeah, you can barely see that. Let's go get some of the oak. I bet that nice. We can just throw these guys over here. And yeah, my my in stores indoor storage was getting rather full, so I needed a way to expand that. And I can't really do that because I don't have any more room in there. So I figured I'd put a little wood shed out here. I could move all the wood out. Um, and I figure I can make another storage area type deal down here for like all of our stone and building materials and then I can pull that out and make this more of a big pantry for all our food and farming stuff um, and, and various things because uh, we have very limited storage in here unfortunately. I do love this house though. It's very nice. I like it. Uh, I've gotten look at this a whole bunch of spirits and I want to look into this mod too, Nature's Aura. That sounds pretty snazzy. <laughs> um yeah. But like I said, I do want to go into some tech to get the story done. Um so I guess we can put expand storage. That's kind of vague <laughs> but um descriptive nonetheless uh oh yeah we need to work on smithy oh no work on the smithy uh, because i don't like it that it's just a square box we can do some things to help it out also, I would like to maybe make a chicken coop. Uh, just to, is that how you spell coop? Is it with the E? I don't know. Chicken coupe. <laughs> chicken, or is it with like a coop? Um, I'm a phonetics person. I spell things how they sound. Uh, and that could go several ways. <laughs> I'm just going to stick with C-O-U-P. Uh, so we got our, oh, look. Uh, there we go. Project. Board. Ta -da! <laughs> the project board. It is complete. Also, I have completely forgotten about my little dad over here. Oh, we need one more. It's the last one. And then we can make, oh, where's my 
my paper. Oh, there it is right there. My brain needs to it. Uh, oh, look, we got another mage bloom. So, we're getting this stuff in no time. Yay! And it's day, it's night again. Oh boy. Okay, I guess we got time to go sleep and come back. And then we can make this parchment. And uh, I, the way Arts of Magica worked was you had to level up your casting skills. Uh, and I feel like this Arts Nouveau is giving off that kind of a vibe to, uh, for one, hold your little spell book. You can see over in the lower left corner that you have like a little mana bar and it has a number in the upper left portion of that. Uh, so that is indicating to me a level. Um, so we probably need to, uh, like there was a lot of grinding in, in Arts Magica. Probably, you know, just to, just to level up your skills so you can do stuff and things. So we now have our four source gems to get this over here. Let's make a parchment spell parchment. Yes. I don't know what uh, this means. So if you hold your spell book in your hand and you click on this, it brings up uh, your glyphs. Uh, so you can either hurt things. Uh, I don't think I can do the harm right now, um, but I think I can do, but, well, because you have to have this earth essence. Uh, well, I guess, what, what is it? Let's look. How much does it take? Uh, Ah, oh, here it is. Earth Essence. It takes a dirt, a seed, and an iron, and a source gem to make that. But what I would like to do, because sometimes there's not anything around to kill, and I don't have, like, a mob farm or anything. I've thought about doing that, uh, because I don't want to wander around aimlessly killing mobs in the middle of the night just to get what I need. So I'll probably try to do some sort of automated mob farm of some sort. Uh, so I would like to just try and see about the mining thing, because mining is something I need to do lots of. Uh, and it just takes an iron pick. Uh, so I think that's what I want to do. I think you have to say tough. Let's go make an iron pick and see about doing this. I don't want to really mess it up or anything. Uh, <laughs> but I've never made a spell before. Oh. Let's in the search for dirt uh, to do some landscaping. And I had to go down into the, the super secret cave to go try and find some dirt to mine up. And I found some uh, some other materials too. I found like some silver, which I hadn't seen before. Got a little bit of iron and maybe some some copper. Uh, but I thought the silver was a nice find there. Uh, so I don't like it that you can't get the little uh, book in there. Okay, so we got our iron pick. Let's go see if we can do this spell and then uh, do some mining with it just to see. All right, so we want to break. 
and it takes an iron pickaxe. Like, do I do touch and then break? No, it looks like just break. Select. Okay, so do I put you there? Oh, look at that. Oh, look. Oh, that's so good. Oh, it gave me a glyph. And it didn't even use my doodle bop. So, um, you have unlocked this flip. A spell you start with breaks blocks of an average hardness can be amplified to increase the harvest level. Sensitive will simulate breaking blocks with shears instead of pickaxe. Oh, so that's pretty cool. Um, now, I do, do I just read this? You already know the spell. Okay, so what do I do with that then? I do the thing. Um, do I do this? Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, maybe we... <laughs> All right, let's look in our book, because I would really like to get the spell done. Uh, getting started. A spell casting. Oh, new glyphs. Accessing new spells will require a small amount of research to make. New spells can be learned by obtaining glyphs. Glyphs are created using the scribes table with experience and items. Once you have obtained a glyph, simply use it to memorize the glyph. See the section on the scribes table. But I already, it says I already know it. Uh, to craft new glyphs, use a spell book on the table to open the codex. Each glyph requires a set of items and experience points to unlock. Select a glyph by clicking on it in the menu and hit select. The table is rendered above and the table will describe a new glyph. Uh, you may also write a specific spell to parchment or enchanter items. To do this, place a spell parchment on Okay, so we put our, oh, our parchment is on there, and then we use our spell book. Uh, um, I don't, sneaky? Did I, did I miss something? <laughs> uh, okay, to do this, place a spell parchment on the table. Then with your spell book in your hand, change your spell book to your desired spell as if you were going to cast it. I don't know how to do that. How do you... Uh, oh, that's... I have no idea how to. How to cast a spell because I don't have a spell. Ah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try and figure this thing out before next episode. So we'll go ahead and end it here. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.